Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today I got uh, a little surprise here. We have uh, the TV elevator. The three sections actually bolted together. Now I didn't include you in on the MIG welding, all the little joints and everything else uh, on this box tube, or include the uh, the drilling of uh, uh, eight holes to bolt these three sections together. Um, we have uh, cut our, our rail, our track assembly, and we got those laying in here. We're going to be clamping those in, transfer punching, and, and getting those bolted in. Uh, we also put our lead screws in, and we're going to be coming up with the right dimensions, and uh, we're going to be able to start machining the lead screws so that they come in and come into our bearing mounts, our bevel gears, and, uh, and so on. Uh, the whole idea of getting this all set up like this is so that we can start fabricating the, the car that's going to carry the, the pivot and support for the TV itself or the big screen. Uh, now, you know, this is, this, is pretty, this is pretty well maxing out my, uh, my wall area here, but uh, you know, this, this keeps you close with your work. So basically, just to give you an idea, our overall height is 109 inches from the very top to the very bottom of this assembly here. And um, it's uh, width in between is basically 66 in there. So you know you got uh, you got about four inch, four and a half inches on the outside of each side of that uh, for the overall length, and we're about 11 inches on the width here. So that kind of gives you a perspective of actually how big this is. Well, the first step is uh, clamping down the uh, the lower rail here, and we've got in and we closely ground, made sure that all of our walls cleared. And we set this off with the straight edge, and we're just working our way down. We're transfer punching each and every one of the holes that that's going to be in there with. And uh, these holes are pretty snug. So we'll have a good alignment with it. And each one of these rails, we're going to match mark uh, to its location now you can see the uh, the lead screw here just because it's own weight right here uh, it's sagging a little bit but and we got our uh, our nut on here and uh, really kind of playing around with uh, the overall lengths that those are going to be set kind of all in play at the same time and once we got these in here we're going to be working the the roller assemblies and uh, see they pass in here with clearance right there so that's why we had to whittle out the uh, the angle gearboxes take me long to uh, set this thing up and move it over a little bit because I got tired of doing the limbo here <laughs> under this project here but uh, we're uh, we're transfer punching our last series of holes here to bolt the uh, last rail in and then we're gonna start uh, taking dimensions in here and we'll come up with some wheel width uh, it's gonna really start off our our, uh, dimensions for making the car that's going to carry the uh, TV up and down in here. We've been doing pretty good. This uh, it's just a transfer punch me method here, and then go inside uh, the shop there, take this into the shop, and put it in the bridge port, and locate each individual hole, center punch and then draw them and then countersink them and I haven't had uh, any hole that I haven't been able to assemble so far. Okay we've got the two running rails in and we got our shafts back in there so we can figure out the amount of wrap around and the distance coming up to get our rollers in here and now we've drawn and designed the side plates that the car is going to be mounting the wheels 
to the framework. And we're getting ready to cut that out on the plasma cutter right now. So let's check that out. We got the uh, the bosses that are going to hold our rollers, and these bosses are going to be in set in uh, these plate here. Now we plasma cut those holes out to inch and a quarter. This is inch and a quarter diameter, and you can see the slight interference there. So what we have is an inch and a quarter reamer here, and we're going to just run the reamer through our holes, and we're going to see if we can set these in there, give them a tack, assemble our rollers, and then slide it into the track unit and have everything work out pisser. on each side of uh, these slugs right here for the uh, the hubs for the uh, roller wheels. All right, putting the last roller in here. It, it wasn't that warm with just a couple tacks on here, but. Uh, We got them in there loose, but they're stationary. And let's see how it fits in here. All 
Well, you know, you cock it, it won't fit, but you get it, slide it right in there. All right. Oh, I like that. All right, we got plenty of room up here in clearance. We're passing that. That rod can make it through there. It's the bottom trowel. Okay, it looks like we can cut out a pair of them. Let's try this on the other side. I'll be damned. Alright, more clearance on this side here. Of course, you only have the rod in here because the gearbox faces in this direction here. Alright, and check that out. Alright, she uh, makes it all the way out of the bottom. Okay, we can, we can cut out a, another side of our car here and we can start assembling and building the uh, elevated car. Cool. How much clearance up and down? I'd say enough. You need to have something in there. I don't want it to be binding. Feels like maybe, maybe five thousandths. I mean, look at that. I mean, I, I let go of it and it just, it moves out about a quarter inch before it's actually uh, independent. So it, it, it is uh, darn close on our dimensions there. I'm stoked. Okay, as we're rolling, you can see that actually uh, the roller does make contact uh, and is somewhat rolling the upper roller as well. Some of that is face contact that I'm holding it in, but it is real close. <laughs> 